Dari, hello. It's towards the end of September 2021, and we're looking at the disk upgrade plan to my new Lenovo IdeaPad 3 15 ALC6. So, as you may know, I'm upgrading this laptop. I bought it specially. It's a low cost Ryzen 7 laptop, and we're in the last stages of doing the of upgrade, and today it's the disk upgrade. So, I've taken off the 10 screws which sit around the case. Standard Phillips screws. I've loosened the case with a spludger tool and taking the top off. So now you'll see that we have a single a space for a single um, NVMe, NVMe drive, which is here. Now, had I ordered the smaller battery version of this computer, there would have been a second media bay down here on the left-hand side. I'm just making a prop. So the second media bay would have gone here, something like this. So this is more or less the size of a two and a half inch drive. And if you can see underneath, there's a sort of silver bit here. And that's where that other media bay would have gone. And the battery would only have been this big. But I thought that um, I wanted a bigger battery for better battery life. So that has not been ordered. So, uh, by the way, the battery is easily replaceable. Trivially so. So we're down to changing the disk drive. So hang on, look at this very technical process. So um, I'm going to undo this screw. I'm going to take the old drive out, which is a micro, it's identifying itself as a micron drive. The, uh, the new drive, the new rocket drive came in a nice fancy metal box, which I shall be filing somewhere. Put the new drive in. Yep, and then put this little screw down it. Now, I think integrators will all agree that when you buy a PCIe drive, the thing that you're most interested in receiving, apart from the drive itself, is one of these little flipping screws down here, because often you get a, um, a system where you, you may have a second a space for a second or a third drive, and they don't off, always have a screw. So if, uh, I know there's no global standard on the sizing of screws, but Please, PCIe drive manufacturers, why don't you just include a screw? Because that would be really handy. Anyway, I'm just changing a drive, so I didn't have that issue. So things are going very well so far. That's it. I've just got to put the case back on. Um, and as, as in previous videos uh, about this lap, the wonderful laptop, you'll see I've already upgraded the memory and I've also upgraded the, uh, the networking card. So now we're fully upgraded. Hopefully once this is... Uh, you know, tested, I'll put the screws back in, you know, 100%, and then we're going to see whether the speed has gone up dramatically from its 2,000 megabytes per second to something higher. Uh, I've checked on the system's information. This is a four-lane PCIe Express receiver, so we should be able to make use of the full performance of the drive. Let's check it out.